My name is Red Wolf, and I am from the Ministry of Dog. Today, my talk is about being who you really are. I know that sounds strange, especially if you are dog, to talk about being who you are, because how can you be anything else? It's hard to believe, but this can sometimes be difficult for the vertical species. Sometimes, they do not seem to know how they feel or what they want. And when they do know how they feel or what they want, they push it aside like it doesn't matter. Well, of course it matters. Maybe there is a thing you like to do that other people don't understand. For example, in our laundry and bathroom drains, I can smell earth and insects and rodents. Well, that reminds me that I am a great hunter, and so I stalk the drain and I pretend to catch a drain creature. Some of my dog siblings thought that was weird, but that has never stopped my drain hunting. And that's not the only thing I like. My grandmother has fun feet that smell so nice, and sometimes if she lets me, I pretend to stalk her shoes. They sort of remind me of a bunny or a squirrel, the way they move. Maybe some other dogs don't notice that, and I just have a different imagination. Maybe other dogs imagine eating bones or fetching toys or playing with other dogs. For me, I like drains and feet, and I like to play on my raft and in puddles or dirt. I don't try to fit in with other dogs because mainly, I don't know how. I have no idea how to be anything except who I am. Sometimes verticals have big imaginations too. Other humans might laugh at them or think they are ridiculous, but anything we never saw before is different, and just because we didn't see it before doesn't mean it is bad. It's strange that some humans make fun of another human who does things differently. But if lots of humans are paying attention to that same human who is doing the same thing, then pretty soon more and more humans think that what they are doing is good. And sometimes they copy the thing that started out to be different that people were laughing at. The verticals will often follow a crowd instead of listening to their own feelings. The population wants to be loved too, but they don't exactly know how to fit in, so they generally don't try. We don't just naturally ignore our feelings or our wantings the way some of the verticals do. And that is probably a good thing, unless your mother thinks it is not good. Like when I was a puppy and I ate the stairs. My mother must have had an attachment to the stair carpet. I do not really know. I don't do that anymore. I was just young and looking for things to chew. Anyway, why would you be given a feeling of loving to do something if you were never meant to do it? Whatever you really feel and want deep inside must be telling you something. Like when I have been inside too long and I really need to go on a walk. <laughs> okay, okay. If you really love to do something or some things, then no matter what anyone says, just do them. No matter what you do, others will never completely understand you because they will never be you. And if they laugh at you, just remember that if enough humans said that you were amazing, then many others would also believe it because they don't even know what to think on their own. Sometimes the verticals are so focused on others that they lose their own joy. But it is still there if you want to find it. And no matter what you do, your dog will most likely always think that you are amazing. Hello! <laughs> My name is Red Wolf, and I am from the Ministry of Dog. I offer my wisdom to the verticals in hope of making them a better species. Please subscribe for weekly dogmatizing. <laughs>